Hi, this is Rob Panzarella over at Airline Hydraulics. I'm at our Lancaster, New York facility, and I wanted to review our new test stand. We've got Lexan guards with uh, aluminum extrusion. There's a large foot bracket here, and that foot bracket has adapters. And here's a series of drive couplings with different inserts for each of the sizes. So we've got a series of old style analog gauges. They're all color coded based upon the flow meters down here. Uh, we've also got a large HIDAC HMG 4000. I believe that'll measure up to 32 channels. And then we've got a small operator station here outside of the blast zone with some more mechanical gauges and a, a bunch of manual relief valves where we can set pressures. Every pump that leaves the test stand will get a test report. So a standard test report will have a chart indicating the flow and the pressure under various conditions. So the blue line is the constant flow rate. What you'll see is as the pressure rises, this red line comes up, this blue line comes down, and that is a perfect hyperbolic horsepower curve. So that is a consistent 100 horsepower for this particular pump. If you send your pump in to be repaired by us, it will be accompanied by a similar test report um, you may not have a horsepower control on your pump, but you will have a chart indicating the flow, the pressure, and the operating efficiency. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you. So I'm not sure the size of that tank. I'm going to guess it's about 500 gallons or so. And we've got a, a pilot pump, which is an A1045, an air cooler, just to keep the temperatures under control, and a very large return line filter. I believe that is a IDAC RF 1600.